Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone for the real episode 5 on No Man's Land with me Farmer Murphy. Now let me explain what I mean by the real episode 5. As the thumbnail says a huge mistake was made. I realized this morning when I was recording what I thought was episode 5 in reality was episode 6 and I had inadvertently deleted all the episode 5 content before posting it. I thought I had done and then uh, during the course of this morning's recording I wanted to go back and look at something and there it was gone. <laughs> so so I thought long and hard you know how I could undo uh, what was done but uh, I couldn't think of anything so all I can do is fess up and uh, unfortunately there was a lot that went along around the storyline in episode 5 or a lot that went on so I thought the best I could do is kind of catch you up with what had happened as best as I can recall and then we'll just carry on so uh, hopefully uh, you'll forgive me uh, I'll have to come up with a little better uh, method I guess but anyways so what happened is when we finished the episode four we were right at the end of September and we had just rolled our fields well you can see our our crop is now up and we're part way through December so what happened well the first thing is we had an engine failure on our case and we had it loaded up on a low loader from the shop and had it taken in and uh, as it turned out the uh, engine was shot they needed to put a new engine in it uh, the storyline being that it must have been in a flood because the engine had some engine oil had some water in it uh, of course it was not under warranty uh, so they went through the tractor from stem to stern to make sure there's no other issues and seeing as we had to put a new engine in it we had it repowered up to 175 so that cost us uh, $15,000 and we lost use of the tractor for a couple days. So that is why now our case now has 175 horsepower. Um, so that was the first thing that happened. Um, there wasn't much going on in the farm so I did fast forward through a lot of days but lime production continued and um, we ended up buying the quarry and paying off uh, the county so give me one second and we'll jump down there and see what changed so like I said the other thing that happened is we ended up purchasing the land and the wheel loader we had made enough from our lime uh, and we did make a couple changes to the wheel loader uh, I did put on some wider tires and I put a weight on the back just because I was a little unstable um, you know when you had the bucket lifted and I just wanted to improve the stability of it because we were dumping into our rock crusher which moved um, so I, and that actually did work out pretty good as uh, you didn't hear <laughs> anyway but uh, so we did that um, as you can see we moved our rock crusher down here um, from our main farm uh, I did a little landscaping um, and I made us a track in uh, and we now own this land and as I explained we're not going to do anything with it here right away because we're going to put some more uh, uh, factories in that down here is kind of what we're going to build up in this area so that was kind of the story there but during the course uh, because this was being moved um, you know we had to pay some money out to have it moved obviously and uh, we lost a day of lime production so uh, we had to factor that in because we lost that day of lime production we had talked to the farm shop and seen if uh, you know to fulfill the contract if we needed to uh, produce any lime ahead they said no they would use it out of their stock but they were going to talk to us anyway because they were planning on reducing their demand for the winter um, but they could cover it out of their uh, the shortfall out of their stock and um, they would not have to reduce their you know their request for reduction of the lime uh, that much so uh, but as it turns out for the month of uh, 
December and January, we are providing them uh, a reduced uh, lime by uh, approximately 8,000 uh, liters per per day or per per week. So, I think that catches us up there. So, back to the farm. Is meet you there in a second. Okay, so. Now for the big reveal of the last big change. There it is. So the storyline here was uh, we wanted to expand our carpentry business, our furniture making business, because our sawmill was making planks at a pretty good clip and we had uh, a surplus. And the storyline for that was that the, the wife uh, was uh, getting a little bit uh, impatient with the upgrade to the house due to the, uh, uh, you know, because we were spending money uh, expanding the farm like crazy and she insisted that we uh, do something about that. So we bought this uh, uh, prefabbed home and had it trucked in here and did some landscaping. She went away for a, a little vacation and uh, we got this done for her while we she was away so we could get approval to carry on with our uh, farm expansion so she's quite happy with that so i think that pretty much as far as storyline goes brings us up to date and that's where the uh, money was spent we did pay another twenty thousand dollars off on the loan at the end of november so we're down to two hundred thousand um so there is a very <laughs> quick rundown of what happened in the real episode five to bring us up to date um, again really apologize for that uh, you know <laughs> there was no way to undo what was done and I thought about you know it was just, we we're just too far in and too much work to kind of start over uh, to fix that up so this was my my best solution so hopefully you forgive me for that and I'll try not to do it again so uh, you know, the introduction to episode, the next episode five will really be episode six. I'll put a note on it. But I think everything in there should uh, make sense now. And uh, so thanks for, thanks for watching. Uh, really appreciate you, uh, uh, your understanding. Um, I guess you probably wouldn't have got anything useful out of it, but it could have been entertaining from your standpoint. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, in, if you're enjoying the series, I uh, encourage you to hit the like button, uh, the subscribe and the notification bell so you get further notices. And uh, stay tuned for continuing misadventures with uh, Farmer Murphy. And uh, for now, uh, this is Farmer Murphy uh, signing out.